Hi guys. Can you guys hear me with the mask? Maybe give like a thumbs up or something. <laughs> Hi Alexa. Hi mom. Hey Jay. Awesome. All right, we're just gonna give it another minute and then we'll get started. Hey, Julie. All right, so let's get started. So just to give you guys a little info what we're gonna be doing today. For starters, I'm Bianca. We're gonna be doing a little boxing class today. Um, so we're gonna do a three minute warm up just to get started, which is gonna consist of jumping jacks, squats, and walk out shoulder taps. After that, we're gonna get into a little bit of shadow boxing so I can explain to you uh, when I call out numbers, what punches that I'm doing to hit the bag. After that, we're actually gonna hit the bag then we're gonna do a burnout, and to finish off, we're gonna do a minute plank. So let's get started with the warm up. Warm up is going to be 15 jumping jacks, 10 squats, five walkout shoulder taps. When you do the walkout shoulder taps, make sure that you don't tilt side to side. So when you do it, you wanna keep nice and straight. You don't wanna go like this. Make sure your back is nice and straight. So we're gonna put three minutes on the timer and we're gonna get started. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, ready? Go. Also with jumping jacks, if you can't jump for whatever reason, you could also walk it out for an alternative. Squats, two, three, five, six, seven. Hi guys, thanks for joining. Walk out shoulder taps. Remember to keep the back nice and straight. And back up, that's one. Make sure you squeeze the butt at the top. Now if you can't hold the plank, feel free to drop to the knees, shoulder tap, and back up. Good, back to jumping jacks. Almost done, 20 seconds. Okay, 
catch a break, get some water. Hey, Tiff. How is everyone tonight? Okay, our heart rate should be up. What's going on, girlfriend? <laughs> well, Lexi, you can always come here. I'm in free hold. <laughs> okay, so we're now we're gonna work on some shadow boxing. No one is around, so I'm gonna take the mask down for a little bit. Okay, so for shadow boxing, this is where I'm gonna teach you the punches. So when we get to the bag, when I'm calling out combinations, you know what combinations I'm calling. So I box righty, so anything for lefty is obviously the opposite of what I'm doing. So hands are up. I want to protect the face nice and close. So our one punch is gonna be our jab, our left jab. So that's our one. With the one, you want to kind of give it a little step. So that's one. Our two is gonna be our right. With this two, my back foot is pivoting. So one, two looks like this. Slow. That's one, two. For our three, it's gonna be our left hook. So it's one, two, three. With the three, your foot's kinda like squishing a bug almost, pivoting. And then you got it. Four is gonna be the right hook. So it's one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now we're gonna include five and six. That's gonna be our uppercuts. So five is our left uppercut, six, right uppercut. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's work on one, one, two. It's gonna be left, left, right. Left, left, right. One, one, two. One, one, two, three. One, one, two, three, four. To work on our uppercuts, five and six. And you wanna get a little bouncing as you go because in boxing, you're never gonna stand still. You're always gonna be moving and learning how to dip and dive, you know, when they're swinging at you. So shadow boxing is kind of preparing you for when you go to hit the bag. So it's just pretty much like you're almost hitting, like you're pretending to hit the bag and it gives you movement and flow of how to hit the bag. So before you hit the bag, it's good to practice shadow boxing, just to get the hang of it and to learn your punches. Now while we're doing this, this is a beginner's class, so it's all about having fun, just hitting and having a good time. But um, when I do go to hit the bag, I am gonna be calling out combos for you guys to follow, just so that's why I'm going over the combinations with you guys. Hi guys. Thanks for joining. So let's practice that one more time. One, two, three, four, five, six. From the side view, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, let's start on the back. I'll be calling out some combos that you guys can follow along with. And I do recommend, um, if you're gonna be punching the actual bag, I'm wearing gloves. I always wrap my hands. It protects my knuckles, along with also giving support to my wrist. So to start off with an easy combo, we're gonna do, practice our ones and twos. So the first combo is gonna be one, one, 
Jab, cross, hook, hook. Hi guys. Jab, cross, hook, hook. Ready? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Remember when you go for the three? It's like squishing a bow. So it's a hook. Okay, since I'm back a little bit further. Yes? Okay. We're going to work on one, two, three, four. Nice and easy. So that's one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. If you don't have a bag, you can stick with the shadow boxing. You can also grab little two pound weights, water bottles, anything just to keep the boxing going. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now just remember, this is all for fun, so if you want to just hit the bag, go for it or move around the house, do whatever com combos you want. 
Move around a little. We're also gonna get into doing some squats, which is also called our slip. So if we're gonna slip, we're gonna duck. So if a punch is getting thrown at us, we can avoid getting hit. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Let's take it to the bag. One, two, three, four. One, two. Feel free to move around. Because obviously if you're fighting someone, that person is not going to just be standing still. Get something to drink. Best boxing tip for beginners. Just to have fun. Have fun, doesn't have to be perfect. Just get out there, even if it's shadow boxing. It's all that matters if you're having fun. Hi Whitney. Who taught me how to box? So, when I first started my weight loss journey, uh, boxing is what actually got me started into losing my weight. I started at Relentless, which is in Freehold, New Jersey. I was training with the trainer, Matt, and that was like one of the best things that ever happened to me. All right. We're gonna work on a few more combos. Then we're gonna get into a burnout. Then we're gonna do a minute plank. So the next combo is gonna be a cross. So it's gonna be a two, one, one, two. So it's gonna look like this. Two, one, one, two. Now notice how my feet are moving with my punches. Two, one, one, two. This foot always picks up once I'm hitting my one. And this one's always turning. Two, one, one, two. Ready? Two, one, one, two. Like I said, you don't need to be hitting a bag. Just get up and move. You can grab little free weights to put in your hands, even water bottles, whatever you got. Two, one, one, two. Keep practicing. Two, one, one, two. Two, one, one, two. Two, two. All right, let's take it to the back.
to it, feel free to add a hook, an uppercut, whatever you need. If you want to hit the roll, feel free to do whatever you need. It's all about having fun and switching it up. Never wanted to do the same thing. can hear me do I ever box in the ring yes sometimes I do depending on my availability but if you have not done boxing in the ring totally recommend doing it it is refreshing mentally physically I absolutely love it all right let's work on two more combos then we're gonna get to our burnout so far good how much weight did I lose so I have lost about 120 pounds and still counting and I am six pounds away from my overall goal which is pretty exciting because this is the smallest I've been yet since middle school pretty much so that's pretty exciting so for our next we're gonna do a burnout Burnout is just gonna be whatever you wanna do on the bag. Hit until you can't go anymore. If you need to take a break, take a break. That's totally fine. You can do whatever combination you want. We're gonna be going for a minute straight. So give it all you got. Cause then after this, we are ending with a one minute plank hold. And then we are done. So are you guys ready? One minute, give it all you got. Let's get it. Ready?
right, guys. Last but not least, we're gonna end with a one minute plank hold. If at any time you need to drop, drop and get back up within three seconds. You guys ready? Good work, everyone. Thanks for joining into my first live. Hope to see you guys soon.